today's video we're going to keep going with the stationery pack that we've been making for Alan Hughes photography and we're going to make this envelope for his business okay so we're going to make it in Photoshop today pop over there now make yourself a new document now the sizes for this envelope I actually grabbed off the internet okay I went to this website here and found the size for a DL envelope and saw that it was 110 height by 220 mils in width so let's Add that into our document now. So 220 millimeters for the width, 110 for the height. Resolution will be for high quality print, so 300 pixels per inch. And our color mode will be CMYK as well, ready for print. Click OK. You'll get this white canvas on your page. Now before we get started on doing anything, we want to draw our safety margins on. So press Control R or Command R to bring your rulers up around the page. And start on the left hand side here and drag a ruler on three millimeters drag one onto the other side now and we want to come back three millimeters from 220 so we'll end up on 217 millimeters on the top of the page you want to drag down to three millimeters and then we want to drag one more down from the bottom we want to drop it back to 107 millimeters can't quite get on 107 you can zoom in and you'll be able to get it it looks like I just got it so that's good okay so I've got my safety margin set up we just want to make sure when we design this envelope that nothing goes outside those lines except for background colors so all the text and logos and whatnot must be inside those safety margins alrighty to make the envelope you want to keep our color scheme consistent with what we've been using in the business cards and the original logo so what I'm going to do is just go to open and recent and open up my rear business card which was this one okay first thing I want to do is just unlock this background well actually I'll unlock all layers because we're going to need all of them shortly but I'm going to click on the background here and make sure it's selected and simply drag that over to my envelope okay what I am going to do here is just use my eyedropper tool to select that color. Okay, I can delete this now by pressing delete and just use my paint bucket tool and click on this now. And that will give me that gray color that we just selected with the eyedropper tool. So that's our background sorted. Next thing we want to bring into this envelope is the stripes down the left hand side of the page. Okay, and that's a simple job as well. All we need to do is grab our move tool and we're going to select the two layers stripes and stripes 2 pick them up move them over and drop them on the page what I'm going to do is rotate them so I'm going to hold shift and with my move tool I'm going to rotate them around okay, so make sure you hold shift when you do that move them up into the top left hand corner so the guides show that they snap in the left hand corner there and simply stretch them all the way to the bottom of the page Okay, when the pink guides appear, you can let go and press the tick. Okay. I don't think they fit right on the envelope, so I'm going to have to just quickly go to my properties over here and check this out. Make sure the height 110 millimeters. I think we might have been right actually, so I'll just check this blue one as well. Height 110 millimeters. Alright, so they're in position, looks like they were right. Now the next thing you want to do is put the logo up in this top left hand corner so back to the business card here's our logo here simply pick it up drag it over drop it on okay you can see it's making new layers for everything I drop on the page so that's handy now just push this up in the left hand corner here somewhere for the time being you can make it a little bit bigger if you'd like it's not going to hurt press the tick at the top when you are finished what we're going to do is lock these layers all into place so I'm just going to highlight them all and press the little padlock and that's locked all four of my layers into place okay we'll make another new layer on top here okay and what we're going to do next is put in the window for where you would put the customer's address if you were to send this envelope okay if I go back to the internet for a sec we look across here and it says barcode window size is that non barcode window size is that we want to use the non barcode window size so 35 by 98 millimeters okay so what we're going to do for this little window is grab a rounded rectangle tool make sure our fill color is white and we've got no stroke we're simply going to click once on the page and then we can type in the exact width and height that we're after so 35 for the height 98 for the width 
98 millimeters and 35 millimeters for our sizes. Make sure your radar is 20 pixels, so the corners or the rounded corners of your rectangle will be 20, 20 pixels each. And click OK, and you get the window the exact size that you need it for when you send your customers' um, envelopes. They'll have their address in there. Now that needs to be in a certain position. If we go back to this website, it tells us that it needs to be 32 mils in from the left and 65 mils in from the top. So let's bring up a ruler, drag it 32 millimeters onto the page. Okay, and just double check what height we had. 65 mils from the top. So bring in a ruler at 65 millimeters down the page. Okay, what you can do now is just pick that up and snap it into the corner of those margins. And that's now in the right position. I'm just going to drag those margins or rulers off the page there. We don't need them anymore. Okay, so that can't be moved from that position. So you might as well call that rounded rectangle window and lock it into place as well. Okay, coming in below this window, we're going to put the contact details uh, for our business, just in case people want to contact us. Here they are here. Okay, so select them, pick them up and move them into this document. Now we're going to need to grab the text tool from our toolbox and click inside that text box and press delete. And we're going to just bring this all onto one line. You're going to need to stretch this text box out first as well. Alright. Another thing I'm going to do is center that text. So I use the tool at the top to center it. And what I'm going to do is stretch this out to be the exact width of our envelope. Okay, I can just reduce the size of that a bit. I'm going to click the tick at the top, grabbing my move tool. I'm just going to move that down to the bottom of the page. Okay, make sure it stays inside the safety margins. You can nudge it around a little bit. But basically, we want it to go below that window but stay inside the safety margin. So it looks something like that. All right. That's basically our envelope made already. Pretty simple job. If you want to go into Google and find a postage stamp, you can. Another thing you can do, I've gone onto the Australia Post website and found out you can put in a little box that says Postage Paid Australia. And it's going to be 40 millimeters wide and 26 millimeters high. So why don't we put that into ours? So back in Photoshop, let's just pick up our rectangle tool. Make sure your fill color is white and you've got a black stroke. Okay, it should be uh, just a one point stroke. Click once on your page and remember the width was 40 millimeters and the height was 26 millimeters. So for the height, 26 millimeters. Click OK. okay so there's a little postage stamp box there. Okay, now what that needs to do is come in one centimeter or 10 millimeters from each side here. So I'm gonna come down 10 millimeters with my ruler and from the end here we want to come back to 210 there we go and this will fit right in that little intersection just there drag those rulers off the page because you don't need them anymore but that's where that stamp is going to go you can grab the text tool as well now and basically in capital letters you're going to write postage Oops, I better change the font color to black so we can see this a bit better. Postage paid Australia. Now that text needs to be a bit bigger, of course, so make it a bit bigger. Let's move it up here. Let's try and get it. Um, try and get this in the center as well. So. definitely not big enough, it needs to look something like this, so we need to make this box a bit bigger and make the text fill it, okay, so what we're going to do, I might just grab my character panel up here, let's get that size bigger, change the tracking here, make it a bit bigger as well, um, we won't go any bigger than size 15, I'll just have to make the tracking a bit bigger, maybe about 21 for the tracking. 
and just nudge that around with our arrow keys until we're happy with it. It should look something like that, which is pretty similar to what they've got. Okay, so that's where our stamp would go. And that's basically our envelope finished. So when you're ready to save it, I'd first of all save as a PSD file. And then when you save it the second time, I'll just have to find my envelope folder. Save it as a Photoshop PDF. That means it's ready for print. Click on save. A couple of boxes will come up. You can say don't show again if you want. Make sure this box here that comes up has high quality print selected at the top. Save PDF. And if that comes up, just don't show again and click yes. Okay. And that is your envelope saved as a PDF. And that's ready to be printed. Okay.